Hey guys, welcome to TRT Journey. And tonight, I'm gonna to talk about why testosterone troches are useless. And before I do so, I'll give you a quick view of what a testosterone troche looks like. You can see it there. There's a whole bunch of them in the little plastic container. So they mix them up and uh, they put them in there and you get all these little bits of, of testosterone floating around. You probably can't see it too well uh, there. Little bits break off and, uh, and that's what a testosterone troche looks like in Australia, which is where I live. I'm sure they have some different formulations in different parts of the world, but that's what it looks like over here. Now, I'm going to give you seven reasons why these things are absolute shite. The first reason, and this is probably going to be useful to you if you're thinking about taking these troches, seven reasons. First reason, they wear off too quickly. I put that thing in my mouth, it lasts about two hours. So I'll feel pretty fucking good for two hours and then it'll gradually wear off until about five hours after I've taken the thing, there's nothing left of it at all. So to actually get a stable blood level of testosterone in a day, you would need to take about three of these things per day or three doses per day. Transbuchal, which means it's absorbed through the lining of the cheek. I think that's the term. Or the gum. And it's absorbed through the lining of the face, the inner lining of the face. Um, second reason, you get a daily roller coaster effect. A lot of people on TRT talk about the roller coaster effect with injections on a weekly basis. Well, with the troche, you get a roller coaster effect on a daily basis. So I'm up for two hours, down for five, up for two, down for five. That's no way to lead, uh, lead a life. I've actually stopped taking these now because uh, they're so fucking useless. Reason number three. When you take a testosterone troche, and let me caveat this, maybe there are some formulations uh, in the US, Striant, I've heard of, it may be different, but uh, my experience with these custom formulated troches, uh, which are um, available globally, is what I'm relating now. So, the problem with the troche is that overnight, you're not gonna have any in your blood when does the body make muscle? Overnight. So therefore, these things are not really any good for building muscle, which is one of the things you want when you go on testosterone replacement therapy. So I read some reports on the internet of guys that have been taking these troches and they hadn't put on their natural muscle mass or they hadn't built any additional muscle mass because there's no testosterone in the blood overnight. So, the next reason, reason number four, when you take a troche, a lot of the testosterone actually gets taken down your throat and goes into your gut. You can't avoid this because of the natural saliva reaction of the mouth. This is very bad because People don't prescribe oral testosterone anymore. It's gonna hit your liver, and it's really gonna tax your liver in a, I've been informed, in a negative way. And you can tell that it's going down because you can taste it going down, and you can't stop it. You can try to maximize it into the cheeks and the gum, but you can't stop some of it going down. And I think a lot of it goes down because you look at the dose that I'm on there, that's 150 mg per day. 
which tells me only about 10% of that is getting absorbed. I suspect most of it's going down uh, into my stomach. Uh, next reason is these things taste like shit. You really don't want to have this thing in your mouth all day. These ones take between 30 minutes to two hours to absorb. Um, so that's up to six hours a day you've got the piece of shit in your mouth. Uh, not very good. Uh, and lastly, to wrap up, um, they're invasive. So when I'm taking a medicine, I want to try and forget about it and get on with my life with a troche. I feel like I have something stuck in my mouth more or less all day. And during that time I can't eat. Um, I have to drink in a special way to not hit the troche. Um, so they're invasive, they're ineffective compared to uh, some of the other delivery methods such as injections. And um, these things are fucking expensive as well. These things have set you back three times as much as, uh, as a vial of testosterone cipionate. So there you have it. Seven reasons why if your doctor tries to give you a testosterone troche, my recommendation to you is you tell him to take the testosterone troche and stick it up his ass.